watching an article variables tutorial and this applies for the article creator. So to demonstrate how article variables work, I'm going to create a new article task. And if you look in the keywords box, you can actually see an example of an article variable. Copy training variable name equals value. First, we start off with our keyword. We can put in an article variables. So I recommend that you name all your article variables in uppercase. Now with article variables, you can name them anything you want, but they should start with a letter. If they're going to have a space in it, you need to use an underscore symbol. So I'm going to just give my article variable a random name. And then after I've got the variable name, I need an equal sign and the variable I want to pass in. So because I want to set my links for the article to be the variable name, I'm actually going to put in a URL. And I also, I want to put in a keyword for my variables. Because I want a space, I'm going to have to use the underscore symbol. Once again, an equal sign. And because my keyword variable is going to be create training, because there's a space in between my values, I actually need to tell SEO Content Machine where the variable name and the variable value starts and ends. I need to use a double quotes. You can also use a single quotes. That would also work. The article variables get passed in is it always starts left to right and it's your article variables. Then there should be a space and then this is where you put in your article variables. So your variable name should be all uppercase followed by an equal sign, the value you want to be assigned to that variable, another space to indicate a different variable. Once again, all uppercase characters. Use an underscore if you need a space and an equals. If you're going to use a space in your variable, then you need to make sure you use a single or double quotes. So now you know how to set article variables. How do you use them? Our first variable here was training variable. Now if we go to links and we're going to add a new link. Now for the URL, so we could type in the URL that we want to pass in. But because we want to use the variable, what you want to do is have your variable name. But because now we are using it as a macro, it needs to be surrounded by these two percentage symbols. Now we're going to add our keyword. And I'm going to go back quickly to the keywords section. Find my variable name, copy that. Go to links, paste it in once again because it's a macro. It needs to have these percentages. Now to demonstrate how these variables work when it comes to this keyword, I'm going to copy this line, add another keyword, cat training. And let's say for cat training, we want to leave a link to my second money site. For this money site keyword variable, we don't want to have create training, but maybe visit our site. Now, if you didn't use article variables, it wouldn't be possible to add a link to these two different sites for each different keyword without having to create a brand new task for each keyword. But because now we're using variables, we only need one instance of a link and we can run it for both keywords, even though, as you can see, the links are not the same. So I'm going to set my article count to one because it's just an example. And I'm going to click run so that I can show you the final output. Now my article creator task has finished running. I want to draw your attention to the task log. If you go to where it starts. So here we have starting keyword two of two, cat training. So here's our variables. And if you check the next line, it says found two article variables in your keyword string. When we see this, we know that SEM has correctly passed and picked up our article variables. So what happens if we make a mistake with our article variables? Let's say, for example, we forget to use quotes, or maybe our article variable names are just numbers, which isn't valid. If we click Run, you see that it actually prints out an error for you. Article keyword invalid character position 149. So what we need to do is probably add this back and let's run it again. Okay, so still an error. So as you can see, it started all with just numbers, so it doesn't like that. And let's run it again. And you can see it's 
correctly picked up and it's starting to run my task without any problems. Now if we go to the output of the content, so I'm going to click on this preview articles button. So we have two articles that were created. The first one is cat training and you can see already in the preview that our link has been added and it says visit our site and it's going to our money site. If we go to the next article, which is the dog training one, you'll notice that the link has been added. But once again, the URL and the keyword is completely different. So it says Kate training example.com. We go back to our example. It matches example and create training. Now, one final thing I want to leave you with is it is possible to use spin tags within this. So my other site.com. Let's click run. As you can see, it's correctly found our two article variables without printing out an error. If you have any questions about how to use article variables for the article creator, feel free to send me an email info at seocontentmachine.com.